So you're trying to investigate to get photos from them to see if they're actually 13. Uh, just, I like to prove to me who they are. I'll prove to you who you are with the panties and the nude photos. Yeah. Maybe that go up here. Can I help you? Oh, hi. Hi, ma'am. Uh, I'm just looking for John. Uh, I just had some paperwork I got to go through with him. What's it for? Oh, it's a private matter. I, I could only go through it with him. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm with a courier service. Uh, is he home? Who? Um, I'm his wife. Oh, my name's Tony. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Sorry. I I wasn't sure. I, it's hard to tell which which was like the front entrance here. You well, know? that is, but we don't uh, use that door. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so would I be able to talk to John right quick? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah, see. I appreciate it. What's your name? Wanda. Oh, it's nice to meet you. It's beautiful out what here. What do you mean a courier service? What's this through? What's this for? Oh, I, it's just some paperwork I got to go through with them. Uh, somebody just sent them a, a courier, so I just got to go through it with them. Yeah. A courier for what? Uh, just some paperwork. Paperwork about what? Uh, I, I can only go through it with him, ma'am. I apologize. Because uh, the instructions are to just go through it with him. Uh, no. Okay. Well, I mean, if if he gives permission, then I could go through it with both of you. But I, but I would have to have the permission of who it's supposed to be delivered to to do that. That's just part of our... Uh, I've never heard of a courier service coming on Sunday. Well, we work seven days a week. We do. Depends on... You just stay right here just a minute. Oh, sure. Yes, ma'am.
Hey, John. Hey. Hey, Tony. Nice to meet you, brother. How you doing? Also, uh, I, I didn't tell your wife what was going on. Uh, I, I talked to a young lady and her parents, and the parents just wanted to be addressed privately. No trouble, nothing like that. I, I did not tell your wife what's going on just because I don't want... I just want to address it privately with you. Um, you know, it's not you're not in trouble or anything like that. Like, we believe that, and the parents believe that, understanding and compassion is the way to address this because she was talking to a lot of guys online, this girl. Like, a lot of guys, and you're not the only guy she was talking to. Um, would, would you be willing to just sit down and talk to me so just so we could just address this privately? Uh, I, I'm really just mainly interested in making sure that you're back on the right path. Uh... You know the girl I'm talking about? No. Uh, Haley? Who? Uh, Haley? Uh, she's, you know, I mean, you know, and, and again, here's the thing about the internet. Sometimes guys get sucked down rabbit holes on the internet. And I've never heard of her. Yeah, well, I knew you were a good guy, John, and the reason that I came to address this with you privately is because I knew you were a good guy, and uh, the reason I didn't say anything in front of your wife is because I knew you were a good guy. Uh, and I don't want, like, there's no reason for this to affect anything that you have going on at your house. Uh, I, I feel like we really could just sit down and just talk about it and just be honest about it and just be done with it. I don't know. Well, if I showed you her picture, would you recognize her? Probably so. So is, you recognize this picture? Yeah. Yeah, and then this is your Facebook, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of guys get bored on the Internet. You know, this is not like, and this is only for safety, just so probably you know. Probably not dead, but probably messaged her and said, messaged me. Right. Said hello, messaged me. Right, right. Um, uh, was there any, like, and again, this is not, it's just internet bullshit. It happens to a bunch There's of guys. Nothing. Whoa, a little bit, right? I mean, you know, you don't remember asking for pictures? Oh, no. Well, look, it might help if I tell you a little bit about what I do. So I help guys with internet Because of the way that the internet is now, a lot of guys, uh, because a lot of stuff's easily accessible now on the internet, and it, you know, the wandering eye sees things, and it causes people to go down rabbit holes. You know what I mean? I ask people to send pictures to make sure who they are. Right. And I do a reverse search on them. Oh, so were you, like, investigating her? Is that is that what that conversation was? Okay. I do that with everyone I meet. Oh, is it? So, like, I, I hear that it's getting really bad online. Are there, like, a lot of young girls that, like, message older guys? Really? There's one especially called Ash Ashton Reese or something. Ashton Reese? supposed to be a cheerleader. Oh, cheerleader. Underage cheerleader or whatever. How, how old is she? She says she's, like, 19 or something. Oh, 19 not underage. Yeah, I know she's not. Oh. Her pictures on her. <laughs> oh, picture looks underage, but she says she's 19. What is that Facebook as well? Are, so are all these underage girls? Is that all? Is it all, is it all on Facebook or is it other platforms? Because I'm more interested in what they're doing because their parents should be watching them. They shouldn't be talking to all these older guys. Facebook's all on. Oh, just Facebook. Uh, was there was there mention of an app? Because I think that. There's a lot of bad people on the internet, not you, but like bad people that like send good men like yourself down rabbit holes. Yeah. Uh, ha has anybody, and, and again, I, I'm interested, I, don't, I can care about whatever people download and trade, doesn't matter to me. What I care about is the people that actually produce a certain type of material. You know the material I'm talking about? I guess. Yeah. Uh, do you know what kind of? Probably child. Yeah, ch child. Yeah. Um, what, uh, what? platforms do they do they send this stuff on because like because these guys like 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 i want to find the guys that are actually filming the videos and i know that you're not doing that i have no idea who they are oh yeah oh no i know you don't know who they are but like do you know like what apps they're on because that would help me find them facebook facebook is it in messages that they send the child or is it in groups no i got a, i got a reply from something and he said i know what you want Oh. And I said, what? And then he sent me a thing. I said, send me some pictures. And then he showed me some page of pictures and then a video. What was the video? Guys, and girl. How old did the girl look? I don't think I saw her face. Or I might have. Well, her body, like, you know, because there's like a... Like a flat. A flat. 
So, like, are, are we no talking hair. no hair on the person? Okay, so are we well, talking... I'm not interested. Oh, of course you did, because yeah. you're a good guy. <laughs> so, were the pictures of the same girl or different girls? Cause no, I could... that's the only one I've got. Okay, so it was it was a video with a girl, and she, was she having a video with an older guy? Oh, like, okay, yeah. You see, John, you know, it's good that that I could talk to stand-up guys like yourself that are willing to help me find these people. I've been Look. up to the sheriff's office, and I've told them about people. Oh, you have? That I've seen online on Facebook. What's, what sheriff's office is here? I've never been here before. I, I, I County Sheriff's Department. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'll talk to somebody up there you one day. You reported child to them? No, I reported guys having conversations okay. with younger, well, girls pretending to be young girls. Yeah. Whether they were or not, I have no idea. <clears throat> These girls were supposed to be somewhere in Australia. Oh. And one guy was from Montana. And the other guy, I don't know where he was from, but let's see what was it. Oh, instead of saying they want, they want to root. <laughs> roots. They want to root you. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, roots. So roots, like another word for. F yeah, root. R O O T. Oh, okay, and this is like a guy talking to an underage girl, or a girl underage girl talking to a guy. Back and forth. Back and forth conversation. Okay. But see, like I said, I do reverse image searches on photos. Oh, to see who it is. And the girl happens to be a model or something, underage model or whatever. Right. But who knows who she really is. So. I don't so, believe half of the people on there. Oh, 100%. Most of them, their profile picture is either that of an actress or a star or yeah. somebody. But yeah, the the internet, John. The internet. <laughs> the internet is just a bottomless pit of filth that pff, tries to ruin good men like yourself. You know, it, it's unbelievable what these people and what these girls do on the internet. I do a reverse image search, and if it's a porn star, <laughs> I'll send her pictures of herself. Let's see, you're a fake. Oh. And I'll send her pictures of herself. I said, Yeah. You're just trying to pretend to be this person. Yeah. Oh, that's my sister. Oh, I used to be a blah yeah. blah blah. I said, Forget it, you know, I block them. Yeah, this is not, I mean, like, you're not somebody that's actually out to do any harm. And, and I could tell that from this conversation because, like, this is not, like, again, she was talking to six other guys. They were, I mean, they're all around the same age as you. This girl loves talking to older guys, but the other guys and... That looks like the guy there. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one, I think, is an AI image. Yeah. And then you're, you're being very cordial with it. You're saying, I love your beautiful hair. You're saying... Uh, the youngest that you chatted with was 10 and will be 11 soon, so, like, y you have a few conversations with young ladies, right? No big deal. Yeah. And, you uh, know, this uh, is all normal conversation here. Like, this is... I had a conversation is... with a mother and daughter in Australia. Oh, really? And her mother knew I was talking to her daughter. Her daughter was 13. Okay. Um, and they were, they were all cordial with that? Yeah, no big deal. I understand. And, and you know, again, he here's the thing with, like, Internet stuff. So, like, you know... This is you talking to Haley, and this is not like, again, I think this is you just getting bored on the internet. I don't think this is like, you know, start out with your beautiful face and your shirt on and your shoulders and your... So, so, so was that like, was it was that like drinking, or was it like you were just having like a like a goofy night, or like, what do you think? I don't drink. I don't do drugs uh, or anything. Oh, no drinking, no drugs? Okay. So, so is this, is this like, you know, again, because this, to get you back on the right path, like understanding the why behind it would help me get you back on the right path, because I help guys with internet. Do you think, is it loneliness? Is it like... Boredom. Boredom? Yeah. Just like excitement? I'm retired. You're yeah. retired, and the old man's trying to get some excitement. I've had three heart attacks. I've had oh, my goodness. About cut my leg off there. What happened to your leg? I fell over my walker, and it... Peeled that whole skin back. I could see Jesus. bone. I could see the artery pulsing out. My God. And then I did this a couple of weeks ago. Fell over something else. You got to be more careful, John. I got balance yeah. problems. We don't we don't heal too well when we get old. I mean, it takes us longer to heal. We bruise easy. Rehab place up in Pensacola for 
just to learn to walk again. Yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, and <clears throat> and you know, and stopping child for us finding these guys. That guy that sent you that uh, video of that girl and those photos was that um, was it a link to it, or were all the photos in the message? No, it was like a just one picture of a bunch of photos. Oh, okay, so like a picture with a bunch of photos inside of it. I didn't okay. Even look at it. And then, then, then the video was just like a standalone video file. Do you know? And this would help me in finding a producer. Do you know around about how long that video was? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. So was it like a preview? Yeah. Okay. Um. And was it the whole thing? Sex? Was that the whole thing? Yeah. But you couldn't see the girl's face. I don't remember. Okay. Do you know? And then this would help me. Do you know what race the two people, the man and the child, were in the video? White. They're both white? Okay. Um, was there any talking in the video? Okay. The guy that sent it to you was speaking English? The yeah. language? Okay. Okay. Um, now... Well, most of these guys come from Russia. Oh, the Russians. Okay. Because I, I remember I heard something like that was mentioned to... you. from Germany. Oh, Germany as well? Here's yeah. What 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 stuff comes out of Russia and Germany that that you, that just, just a bunch of child, and, and is that on a Facebook or because I because I heard that there's another app that that comes on. Uh, there's WhatsApp, there's Shanghai, there's Singles, there's Hangouts. Hangouts, Singles. Uh, what about uh? Are you, my goodness, are you familiar with Telegram? Yeah. You got Telegram? I've never seen any child stuff on there though. Yeah. There was mention of uh, some of the like videos of Russian girls playing. Do you, you remember mentioning that to Haley about videos of Russian girls? No? Okay, you didn't see that on Telegram? Uh, ha have you been in any like types, and this would help me in finding these producers, have you been in any like types of groups on Telegram or anything like that to be able to see this? So it's all been like WhatsApp, Zengi, uh, and Facebook where the child comes in. Mostly Facebook. Oh, mostly Facebook. I've never seen anything on Zanga or WhatsApp either. Is it groups or messages on Facebook? Just messages. Oh, just messages. And as I don't join groups. as far as how these guys contact you, do they contact you from groups or do they just add you or you add them or how does that? I don't add them. I don't know where they got my name from. Oh, I got you. Um, now though, you, you know, again, sometimes we get bored on the internet. So, like, is there anything specifically that you've typed into search, like keywords where stuff has come up? Because, you know, I mean, it's not hard to, like, pull, like, certain types of records. Like, on Facebook, you know, you can go to a term, and then you could put it in, and then you could see pretty much everyone who's ever searched a certain term. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, ha have you ever typed in uh, anything with pizza or anything like that on Facebook or... CP or anything like that? No, I don't think so, no. I've Googled a lot of shit, but... Yeah. yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Um, and then, uh, you know, I know that... I don't think... Did Haley send you any news or... No, she, she didn't send you any news. Okay, so that's good. That's good she, she didn't. Uh, how many? How many of these young girls, like, around Haley's age, around 12, 13, have sent you before because I, I hear that they're just none like oh none of them i hear that they're crazy man like i really hear crazy things about them that they're just like a bunch of deviants and that their parents aren't watching them no none of them. no i'm not even sure if Haley's still on the phone yeah i uh you know i mean speaking of phones i need to get a new phone like i got my phone is like it's all cracked and stuff i mean you get these things and then they get cracked uh i was thinking about getting what kind of phone do you have because i'm kind of like sick of this version <laughs> The usual everyone else has. Oh, you got an iPhone? Yeah, I got an iPhone too. I got an iPhone 14. I mean, that head. <laughs> oh, you got the 12 or the... Which one you got? 11. Oh, you got the 11? I I had the 10 before this one. Like, it took me years before I got a new phone. Because I'm like, I'll have a phone and I'll ride it till the wheels fall off till I have to get a new one. Yeah. Well, since I'm living on a fixed income, I can't afford it. Oh, 100%. You know, I'm going to get there one day too or I'll be retired. And, you know, I hope that... uh. You know, we we do go through lonely times when we get retired. We definitely go through lonely times, and uh, yeah. Um, 
in the living room on the sofa, sofa bed and watch movies all day. Yeah. And I'll pull around on Facebook. Mess around on Facebook and just goof off and stuff. Yeah. And out of like the 300 friends I've got, I might talk to two or three. Right, yeah, yeah. How long, do you know around about like how long you were talking to Haley? Mm -hmm. I, up early. I don't think it lasted very long because I think all the messages are recent, right? I think, I, I mean, it seems to me like you just started talking to her not long ago, right? Probably. Probably. Yeah. I'll go look and see if she's still on my phone. And, you know, again, it takes two with these conversations. Like, when you said, when you get a little older, I would like to go with you at your age. I don't think it would be, you know, it would go in, it would be, it would be too small at your age. And then, and then she said, what if Grandpa fit in? And then you said, then, you said, then, then you would get your, uh, and you wouldn't be a anymore. That's pretty funny, John. That's pretty funny, man. So, it, I mean, it, basically, it's just boredom, right? That's why this happened. Now, now, boredom, you know, I think boredom is part of it, but you know what I think it really could be? I mean, it could have been, like, some of these sick people on the internet, like, sending you a child. Do you think that's what could have got you interested in talking to younger, possibly? I really don't know. I understand. I understand. Do you have outlets? Like, I mean, I know you have your wife that loves you and all that. Do you have, like, a church that you go to, like, things to get you back on the right path? No? You're just sitting here all by, just sitting here with your wife, just retired? You gotta, you know, I mean, it's good to get out when you're retired and get some outlets to, like, keep your mind occupied, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't like going out the door afraid off the fall. That like, fall, I can't get up. That could be part of what this is, but, you know, whenever you talk to your wife, I mean, you could tell her that, you know, I mean, if you're trying to think of what to tell her, you could tell her that, you know, I'm, I'm looking into a scammer that tried to scam you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you could just, you, you could come up with something to be like, that way she doesn't know what we actually talked about. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, but I would like to talk just, just a little bit longer about this, just to get all this addressed. And this is like really making me feel comfortable because the fact that, you're willing to be honest with me about it shows me that you're capable of turning it around. Like, it shows me that you really are a good guy that just got bored me on the internet, you know? Um, and again, like, most of this is cordial. You remember this picture she sent to you? Not really. Uh, you remember how old she told you she was? No. So she was 13. <laughs> yeah. But, but, I mean, this is definitely the conversation you had with her, right? I mean, it looks yeah. like it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, again, I don't think... Did you actually go meet her or anything? No. No, you didn't meet her? So, yeah, that's no, it's no, no harm, no foul there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and I, I think a lot of it was just asking for pictures, right? You said, I'm going to sleep. I would love to see what you wear. To bed to sleep in so you, you pretty much you want bra and panty pictures swimsuit photos naked photos i mean is that about what you were asking for mostly swimsuiters bra and panties bra and panties right but usually i'll do a search on regular picture and ask for more to see if they can post the regular one right because they could send three or four that could look close to that one right but not be that one. right and then the old man online i mean you asking for busy younger ladies under 18 i mean i mean is that kind of like what's become a thing for you my thing is catch them is catch them so you're trying to investigate to get photos from them to see if they're actually 13 uh, just, i like them prove to me who they are i'll prove to you who you are with the bra and panties and photos yeah I got you. That that makes sense. None of them ever do. Oh, they they never do. Yeah. So right away, I know they're. Yeah, you know that, that there's something going on, yeah. right? And it never yeah. fails that after two or three conversations, will you send me twenty five dollars? Will you send me a gift card? We're we're. Have you ever seen any people selling child like advertising to sell it? Like not saying that you actually bought it, but have you seen them advertising to sell to sell it? On Telegram, I think I did once. On Telegram, you saw that. Yeah. Okay. Is that is that in a group or a message that you Just saw that? Just a message. Just a message. Somebody sent you an advertisement to if you wanted to buy some child. Do you know what country that person was from? 
Okay. Was it, uh, did they send you a preview? Okay. What was in the preview? Uh, there's three or four videos in that one. Okay. Different ones. Do you know what kind of s*** was going on? Do you know around about how old the girls were? Young. Young? We talking like five, six? Nine. Maybe seven, eight. Seven, eight, okay. I know some of this stuff, I've heard that it even goes down to babies, is that true? I've seen it. Oh, you've seen it? What, what do they do to the babies? Because these are like the really sick people that I'm trying to find. Anything they can get away with. Anything they can get away with. So like, are they having like, the babies? I've seen them try to. <laughs> How far did they, I mean, are they like, going all the way in? No? Just, oh, just the head of the or just a li just like halfway. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean that sounds a lot more. I mean that's not like, you know. That was pretty awful thing. No. Yeah. Um. So has there has it just been, or has there been any with the infants? Uh, all of that too. I can't remember if it's all or not. Yeah. Is it usually pictures or videos of the like infant stuff? Both. Both. And they just try to sell it on Telegram. Yeah. These these people, you know. John, these people, they're not decent human beings like you and me are, man. They're not. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, there's a... A lot of people don't know this, but um, whenever uh, they send these... Whenever they take videos of themselves doing stuff with children, right? There's location data in the videos. Um, and that location data can be used to find the producer of the video. Like, where the video was filmed, like, I could use that location data to find where it was filmed. Uh, if you had any videos uh, you saved, a, on the, you could Google Mosh or Babco and Babco, B A B C O, B A B K O. What is that? It's a name. Oh, it's a name. Russia. Oh, Russia. And some old man was paying her and other girls to be filmed doing this, that, and the other. Okay. And he got arrested. She went to court and told him it was all consensual. Oh. He was paying them. And These are underage girls or? Okay. And uh, so. A younger sister. <laughs> and right, right, right. And girlfriends. This, that, the other. So his stuff is still online if you Google Babco. You know, that's what you're saying? Oh, you'll find a picture of her. Oh. oh. Right, 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 She's, right. I don't know if we'll ever find the video, but... Oh, 100%. Is there anything that you have saved now that I could potentially get location data from? No? I'll delete. Oh, you got rid of it? You just, you just uh, kind of delete? Yeah, I get it. I got you, man. You just download it, you look at it, you use it for whatever you need it for, and then you I don't delete it. Do that. Oh, no? That makes you sick of the stomach, really. Oh, it makes you sick? Yeah. No, I mean, I could see that. I could see that you're a decent guy that you know, is really not into this at all, you know what I mean, and, and I mean, man, I really appreciate you giving me this information, because it's going to help me find a producer, because wh whenever I help guys with internet, and they give me information about what's in these videos, something that another guy may have said, I could take a description of that, that might match a description of what you said about something in some group, or some message, and then I could use that to find a producer, and I, you know, I mean, I admire your bravery, man, I, I appreciate you, I really do. Eight, eight years. Eight years? Eight years ago, a lot of these things. Now it's very difficult. Oh, so like eight uh, eight years ago, you were finding child porn all the time, and now it's harder to find, is what you're saying. Okay. I understand. Yeah, you could Google CP and. And it would come up. And a list of shit would come up. What, what, what list would come up back then when you would Google it? It would just be a, everything? You just have different sites. And you click on site, but it might not take you there. It'll take you somewhere else. What's CP stand for? Child. Oh, child. My, that's right. I'm sorry. Brain for it. Right. That's right. That's right. I'm not being recorded for all this shit. No, no, no. You're you're being recorded because I'm on your property, and I want and it's for safety. It's like like I want you to be assured that I'm not here to disrespect you in any way or anything like that. And it's also like if I was to leave because this has actually happened to me before. I've showed up and talked to a guy and left, and everything was cool, 
and then he went and got hammered and got drunk, and then he went and called the police on me and claimed that I came here to threaten them. And then the police came to talk to me, and I had to give them everything. I had to give them the whole, everything of what we talked about. Who but, do you work for? Oh, I, I, I just help guys with internet the parents called me, Haley's parents called me and asked me to come talk to you because they wanted it to be addressed privately. Basically, whenever... I tell them to send you a real picture of her. Huh? I tell them to send you a real picture of her, not an AI. Well, she made that AI, and like in the conversation, she said it was AI. She said it wasn't her. She said it was AI. And then, and then like the other picture she sent was like really her, and she said it was her. Uh, yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> it's confusing stuff on the internet, but I'm, but I'm not here to cause any trouble for you or anything like that, man. I'm, I'm really not. I, like, I'm, I really am here to just get you back on the right path. Uh, and then also, I just wanted to establish that you're not going to contact her anymore, specifically Haley. Uh, and then I'll let the parents know, hey, I talked to John. Everything's cool. He's not going to contact her anymore. You know, I mean, do you feel sorry about having this conversation? I mean, do you regret it, having a conversation with her? I mean, with the stuff that was said, like, do you have any remorse over it, or... No, well, nothing would become of it, so. Well, yeah, nothing will become of it, but, I mean, you know, I mean, I, you know, I, I think that, like, part of the purpose of this is understanding, like, what's right and wrong and stuff, and... Well, I pretty much know that. Yeah, yeah. And you seem like a smart guy. Like, like you seem like you got a good head about you, and you're in the twilight of your life, and, look, I mean, John, honestly, man... I want you to just enjoy it and stay out of trouble. That's that's what I want for you. I want you to just go back in that house and just tell your tell, just let your wife know, hey, he was just here to help me, you know, help investigate a scammer, and you know, I talked to him and everything's cool, and uh, and then just enjoy the rest of your life, and then just try your best to just stay out of this type of stuff. You know what I mean? No problem. Yeah, man. Uh, and really, uh, I hope I wish the best to you and your health and everything, man. And okay. On Facebook, and I bet she's got five different profiles. How do you how do you spell? And and then oh, is that is that an underage girl? Well, the one's supposed to be a cheerleader. A cheerleader. Public, she has a profile. Oh. Looks underage. Oh, is she? So she's saying she's 19, but she looks underage. Okay. Is there any news of her or no? Just like cheerleading stuff. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely check her out. I'll, I'll see, you know, maybe talk to her parents and. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, John. But hey, brother. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I want me to send like two hundred. How long have you been a fan of mine? And would you like to come to Los Angeles? Oh, she sent that to you. Our shows. He, but you need a membership card. Oh, really? I said, how much that cost? Said, 200 bucks. I said, forget it. <laughs> wow. That's that's incredible. They are scammers. That's all they are. A lot of scammers out there. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we were able to address this privately, truly, man. I, I'm, I'm glad. And, uh, man, I, I really do wish you the best, brother. I do. I wish you the best. And, uh, you know, God bless you, man. I don't know if you believe in God. Uh, yeah. But, uh, don't go to church. Uh, Too many hypocrites. It's hard. It's hard to stay in church. But hey, John, you take care of yourself, uh, all right, brother? You do. Yeah. You need you need help walking up through there? No, I'm good. Are you good? Okay. All that information over to you. Okay, let me get what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get everything from you and leave it for a detective tomorrow because yeah. we're so small we don't have any detectives working yeah. right now. So let me get the email that, that we want that sent to. Let me, and uh, Let me give you your ID. Let me give you uh, my ID so I you can run my yeah, stuff. Because I'll have to start a report on this. If you'll give me five minutes, I'll be right back with yeah, you. Yeah, take your time. I, I got, I'm gonna have another few minutes to copy this stuff. Right, so. Well.
25% done on the body cam footage. Uh, two in one day in the of the Appalachians, uh, North Carolina. And the one, everything's already in process. They called their ICAT guys in on the weekend. This is Yancey County. They are out in, I mean, it took me it's probably a few mile long road that went up this mountain but it took a, an extended period of time because there's so many turns going up the road it's way out in the middle of nowhere and uh, yeah he admitted everything and you know I'm sure that I mean it makes sense that they're not gonna be able to look at this today Sunday uh, it makes sense that they're gonna come in uh, probably probably on the uh, during the week so I'm exhausted. It's probably Monday. They'll come in and look at all this stuff. I'll have the deputies coming back. All right. We're 41% on the the body cam download. So I'm sorry, man. I can't. I'm Dale. Was you talking to me or somebody? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, while I was I was just doing a little outro. Oh, okay. But uh, we're we're 43% on the body cam footage. So it's going right. to be probably about five to seven minutes, and then it'll be done, and I'll be able to. Hand I, you. I'm going to ask a dumb question. Yeah. Do you have all this? Would it be possible for you to the the less stuff we have to handle in something like this? You know how all this goes, the better. Could you email this to the detective as uh, well, or is this the only... So, so um, the decoy is the one that has the conversation with him, Arizona oh. Prevention. So, if you give me an email to a detective, I will send that email to her. She will email you her full name, date of birth, address, all the chat logs, okay. um, and, and a full statement of her interaction with him and when it started and all that stuff. Wonderful. She's, she's going to give you everything. That, that way, uh, we won't, I mean, yeah. I can give this to him if you would like. I mean, yeah. I can take it and, and put it in the box yeah. on his door. But it's, it's your paper copies to keep yeah. for quick reference, but okay. as far as what's on digits, like the full chat logs, you're going to get, if you give me that email, okay. uh, if you write it down on there, actually, you know what might be easier? I, if you type it in here, uh, well, hang on, let me turn this off. See how far much further we are on the body cam? Uh, 70%. Okay. So, uh, yeah, um, a lot of evidence for you guys to go through. Uh, Wonderful. and again, I, I do this in North Carolina, Virginia, uh, South Carolina, Georgia. Wow. And, uh, I've had five arrests in Virginia that I've been involved in and I think five in North Carolina. I, I was just in Alexander County. I just turned in evidence to them on somebody else that I just talked to that admitted everything. So, wow. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think, you know, I'm pretty familiar. I'm, I'm a patrol deputy, canine handler, but uh, I'm trying to think of the that address, I'm trying to get close in my mind and I, I don't even know. Was it a old uh, trailer out right beside the road? No, it's like uh, when you pull in and I'll pull, it, I'll pull it up on the satellite for you. Let me pull this up on satellite. So I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Pull up the... Well, that pulled up... There we go. So... So when you pull in off of... You pull off that main road. You pull in there. Yeah. It's a house know, over exactly. here, and it's like got like kind of a rundown porch on top, uh -huh. and it goes up a hill, and they come in from this entrance here. Yes. And then he's he's a real old guy, got a bunch of health problems. Uh -huh. His wife lives there with him. Yep, I have I have been there before. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So he, uh, you know, apparently. And according to him, he's been talking to quite a few other underage girls. He mentioned, he admitted to me talking to other 13-year-olds and that he kind of investigates and asks for the bra and panties and photos just to see whether or not they're real. That's his excuse. Because uh, that's what you do when you want to know if a 13-year-old is, is real. You know, you ask her for her bra and panties and, and photos and things like this. It's a pretty normal thing, right? So, But yeah, so he, he's talking to a bunch of girls and... 
then he started talking about a bunch of child, talking about child, because we always ask that. We don't straight up ask child. We let them be the ones to say it. But we kind of say, you know, we think that there's material online that some sick people on the internet that got you into this. And then, then, then he started talking about a video of uh, an older man having sex with a girl that was very young that had no and had no development and had no hair on her. And he's talking about girls in videos that were seven, eight, nine years old. Uh, and, and again, it's a short conversation, but when, oh, I think the body cam is done. But it's a short conversation. But when you watch what he said on body cam, you're going to be able to see it. And I didn't press too hard because I wanted to leave the rapport good with him. There's the body cam footage. Uh, so yes, I wanted to leave the rapport good with him uh, to where it's like he's not going to go smash his phone. You bruh, know what I mean? Bruh. So like he thinks that everything is cool. That I basically the parents wanted it to be addressed privately, and I came and talked to him, and that everything is good. And I, t I told him I said I'm going to tell the parents that we're good to go and all that and then when I asked him whether or not at the kind of the, at the end I asked for the why I asked him whether or not he felt bad about it and he's like oh, nothing's gonna come of it so like he he didn't have any remorse at all like you can see the look on his face in that body cam footage when I asked him like do you have any regrets about this he's like whatever uh, let me do a property sheet real quick on this. Yeah, 100%. Uh, uh, if that's all right, will you, so you, you want me to take this? Yeah, you, you, okay. can take that, you can take that. I'll sign your property right. sheet. And uh, whatever else you need from me, let Thank me know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we are in front of the Yancey County Courthouse. And just so we get the police presence, I was talking to a, a Yancey County Sheriff's home of Mount Mitchell, K-9 deputy. And we are in the center of the town. A very beautiful country area out here. I mean, look at this. Look at that restaurant over there. It's got all the wooded out in front to go along with the huge mountain range in the back. But they don't have anybody here on the weekend, so they'll look at all this evidence tomorrow and follow up on it tomorrow. Right, we got the property sheet. So, sorry, it's very generic, no but that's, that's what I'm to. I just signed one of these yeah, things. Yeah, just, just sign it in the middle anywhere, it doesn't matter, and feel free to take a picture of it, whatever, I just... Uh, just sign it here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just call it number one. Yeah, and I'll put down, it was one thumb, thumb drive and one conversation slash printed. Yeah, and uh, I sent her that uh, email address that you gave me, so she is going to send him everything. Wonderful. We certainly appreciate it. Good sign in there? Yes, sir. Yeah. That, that's perfect. That's what I signed and on if, the last one. Yeah, you, rem you remember better than I do. Yeah, well, I just, I, if you, uh, it was just a few hours ago I signed one. Oh, I just, okay. And here, you know, it's one thumb drive and one conversation yep, printed. printed. That's all I put down. Yep, yep. Well, man, we certainly appreciate it. You I know, appreciate stuff like you this guys. is hard for us to, uh, I know. to initiate. You guys, I mean, you guys, this is so far out in the sticks. You know that hill I had to drive coming up here? Oh, I was just, and I'm from West Virginia. Okay. And so I'm used to this, but like this, this is like way out. Uh, but man, we, we appreciate all the help we can get, and this is great. He will, and, and this, uh, Jason, the email that he got, that's what he specializes in, is a crime. So he will, uh, my chief deputy, I gave him a call before before meeting you up here and he's like yeah sure him that this will be followed up on and, sure. and it will and we appreciate it so we appreciate you, you guys if you ever get anything else man just give us a call we certainly appreciate it we'll, we'll do, do our very best to take care of it yes sir son hey you have a good evening all right you too sir thank you right so this was an interesting one so you just heard the conversation between me and john you just heard the whole conversation immediately after i left well first uh the decoy for this was Haley, homewrecker Haley, posing as a 13-year-old, Arizona Predator Prevention. So I go to talk to him about homewrecker Haley, who's posing as a 13-year-old, and immediately after I leave, he messages none other than Emily. And for those of you that don't know who Emily is, Emily is another decoy that works for poachers that poses as an 11-year-old. Right? So he messages Emily, and we'll put the screenshot up for you here, and he says to Emily... We have to be extra careful about what we say or do. I just got a visit from a man investigating me for talking to someone underage. Her parents called this guy and he came to see me. 
just make sure you delete everything after our conversations. And then later on, he says to her, uh, yep, that's why I said we have to watch what we say to each other from now on. And then he talks about taking a nap, and then he tells her that he loves her with a heart uh, emoji to an 11-year-old. And then, uh, so today is Tuesday, right? So I talked to this guy on Sunday. So two days later, they arrested him. And while, when they went to arrest him, he was in the middle of having the conversation with Emily. Like, he was talking to her as they knocked on his door and arrested him. And uh, whenever he was arrested, uh, he told the detective, he said, well, that guy that I talked to yesterday told me that I wasn't in trouble. And that's, I, that's, I, I didn't watch the video back, but I, that's probably exactly what I said. And that's, it's true. It's technically not a lie because he's not in trouble with me. I mean, I just came to talk to him. Whatever happens between uh, him and the police, I mean, that's between him and the police. But uh, special thanks to the uh, Yancey County Sheriff's Office. A very, very small department, but they got on this quick. They investigated it quick. They took it seriously, and they made an arrest. And uh, we wish them well in their investigation. Uh, APP did a great job decoying this catch, and then Emily gave us a great assist uh, in continuing to talk to him and keep him comfortable until the police, uh, until the uh, deputies and the detective got to his house and placed him under arrest and served the warrants. So that's another one bites the dust, and uh, that was two in one day. That was a long day. But it just goes to show you that, uh, you know, we talk about what did we learn from this. So, and again, I'm not going to mention any names, but basically, like, I mean, you saw you saw the conversation between me and this guy, and then he immediately messages who he believes to be an 11-year-old. But yet, you know, there's people out there that think that if they slap somebody across the face, that that's going to be the end of it. You know, they just go, they slap them across the face, or if they come in with 50 people and uh, start shooting confetti and rapping, that that's going to put a stop to the behavior, and that's just not how this works. Um, you know, a DA will look at cases like that, and a DA will be like, yeah, there's no way, I mean, this case is not prosecutable. When Whenever people engage in behavior like that and don't conduct the interviews properly and engage in threats, assaults, and just a bunch of shenaniganery, acting like a bunch of, you know, children, and uh, doing it for clicks, there, there's a difference between that and actually approaching the interview in a way where a DA can use it to prosecute someone. So, um, you know, every individual is different. I'm not saying that, you know, a stern talking to, that there's not some people that, uh, it wouldn't work with because I'm not inside everyone's mind. I can't read everyone's mind, but I, I think it's a fair point to say that there's a strong possibility that, uh, you know, somebody being humiliated or, you know, the other type of stuff that you see would not work, that they would go right back to engaging in the behavior and uh, they wouldn't learn from it. And John is one of those people. John, right after I left, I mean, I was... I, I left. I had just made the 911 call and was on my way to the sheriff's office, and I got a text while I'm on my way to the sheriff's office, where I had just gotten to the sheriff's office, about John messaging Emily, uh, t telling her to be careful. I mean, you saw the message. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's my mind dump on this one, and uh, I'm glad that we were able to get another one off the street, you know, thanks to uh, APP on this one, and then also thanks to Emily for the assist. And uh, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep uh, making the community safer. If you want to support the Predator Poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $7 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals.